guys so today is a very very exciting day slash it's gonna be an exciting few days watch this So as you guys have seen by the title, Joel and I are getting two kitties today, tonight, but I kind of wanted to just vlog as normal today so I can take you guys along my day, the process of getting two kitties, if you guys are ever interested in getting them or if you just want to come along for the journey. But guys, we are so excited. We have never had like our own animal ever and we live, live together for a couple of years now so we decided you know what it's time i used to have a cat at my family's house and she was a stray and everything and we had her for like eight years and she unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago from a health issue but we both love cats and we're so excited so yeah i'm so happy to be bringing you guys along today and right now i'm just heating up my bone broth because i am getting ready to leave to the gym and this gym session is going to be the best because there's something to look forward to. And I'm so excited. It's currently Thursday and I honestly don't know if I'm going to be going to my workout tomorrow because we're going to have the kids tonight and there's no way I'm going to be able to leave the house like that. So we're going to be homebound for the next um, probably like four days, which is fine. <laughs> Cheers to getting our kittens today. We're so excited, guys. We have been waiting for this for like... I don't know, I want to say three weeks now, about three weeks, and we're so excited. So, slay, today's going to be a great, amazing day, putting the positive vibes out there, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let's go to the gym. The outfit of the day, we're going pink today with my Ritzia leggings and just this other Ritzia tank top, and yeah, I just wanted to do a little pink moment today because I haven't worn pink to the gym in a while. Not to slay, it's still cold out, so I have my puffer on. But but yeah, little cute pink matching moment today. So madness and badness, combination. Yeah. Hey. Grr. On morning side, got no stick to ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces Cause the feds can't see those eyes People I shouldn't be beside When I was an actor, they would go Stratford just to sell food on Bieber's side Plenty reasons why I'm this way, my girl, that's just one reason why I seen you around that Soto with no fan, baby, you love all some idiot guys Obedient guys, jokers and comedian guys You know I'm like six foot two and the right shoe love, but you love all some medium guys I wanna keep you on the beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise Seen you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes Pressing against me Think about entry, know you could tell us a decent size You wanna know the real me, girl, so you wanna see deep inside If Chuck's hands on a Chanel side bag, you don't wanna see him reach inside But we know some demon guys with jealous and evil eyes You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died I bet they were decent guys, I swear they remind me of me sometimes I'm trying to be under your breast like peas and rice You never get treated nice, fool you once, that's fine But you look dumb if you let them repeat here is my little breakfast today. I just did two eggs with bacon, some goat cheese, and raspberries. I love a good berry or fruit with my breakfast, and it's such a feel like a spring summery thing. So I'm gonna start incorporating like more fresh fruit into my meals since summer is coming, and I feel like fresh fruit is just in season, and I love that for us. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then make a coffee. quickly popping in here to say thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't already know what Squarespace is, they are the all-in-one website platform to help entrepreneurs flourish within their business. Whether you're just starting out and just in the beginning stages of making a business or whether you already have a successful business, Squarespace has everything you need to create the most beautiful aesthetic website to engage with your audience and to sell literally anything from products to content to time so you could start a completely personalized 
specialized website with their new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. You could choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or your business, and optimize for every device. You can easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. Squarespace also has super flexible payments. You can make sure that your checkout system is completely seamless with your customers, which is so important. You can accept credit cards, Apple Pay, PayPal, and in eligible countries, you can also offer your customers the option to buy now and then pay later. This is your sign if you don't already have a business or if you do have one, you should head to Squarespace and go check them out. They make it so easy to start selling really anything online and they have all the tools that you're gonna need. If you guys are interested, go click the link in my description. You can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Michaela and you could save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Hey guys, so it is currently five o'clock and I have just been doing work all day and we are going to get the kittens now. We are so excited, but beforehand, we are going to stop at the pet store. We're gonna stop at HomeSense just to, you know, pick up anything that we need last minute. We need a litter box, we need food, pick up a lot of things, basically. We did grab a few things for them beforehand, like we have a carrier, we have like a little tent thing for them. I will give you guys a full haul on everything that we bought kitty related. Yeah, I'm so excited. I just can't believe that little kittens are gonna be running around my house. It's just crazy to me and I'm so, we're so excited. So anyways guys, last time in my house without the cats. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is actually happening. Like this feels like a fever dream right now that they're gonna be here. Like what the heck? Oh my gosh, okay anyways, let's go. Let's go pick them up. Actually we're going shopping and then picking them up. So I'll take you guys along with us shopping. We're getting the litter box. We're just gonna start off with getting this one because since they're super small, like we want them to have a small litter box and then as they get older, we'll get like a real actual one that more looks like this with like a lid and stuff. But right now we're just gonna get this so that it's easy for them to use and so they can not be peeing on the floors and stuff. First item in the cart, we got the litter scooper. This is unnecessary and I love the little green color. So we want to be feeding our kitties healthy treats. So we got recommended these. They're just freeze-dried shrimp and freeze-dried fish. No other ingredients. They're healthy girls, healthy queens up in our house. These are a treat of choice, but I will give you guys a full haul when we get home. But so exciting shopping. It's like shopping for little babies without the commitment, you know. Plot twist, we actually ended up coming back home. Then we're gonna set everything up and then go and get them. So I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a haul of what we got them because we found some cute stuff right off the bat. So we went to HomeSense and I'll show you what we got there. I'm obsessed with everything. It's like exactly what I envisioned that I wanted. First thing, guys, you guys, oh my gosh, look at these food bowls. We got two of these. These are like exactly what I wanted and I just didn't know where to find them. But of course, HomeSense delivers as they do. We have a pink theme going on here because they're both girls and now Joel has three girls in the house and we love a good pink theme. So we got two of these bowls. This is just the second bowl. And then <laughs> another pink thing. I'm literally wearing pink, oh my God. So this is gonna be for their litter box because their litter is gonna be stinky and we want like we wanted a separate mini can to dispose of it. So we're gonna put a little bag in here and this will be their little litter garbage. How cute you're done. Like this is so just everything I envisioned. And then a little off brand, I guess. <laughs> but this is gonna be their water bowl. It's just green, so it really does match the pink. We are gonna eventually get them like a water fountain. I'm probably gonna order one like online on Amazon or something. But for now, we just got them a little water bowl. So it's easy for them to drink water because apparently a lot of kittens don't like drinking from the fountain right away. So they say to have a bowl and a fountain if you're gonna do a fountain, so. This is gonna be their water bowl for now. And we got this little treat jar. Are you kidding me for the pantry for their treats? So that it's all in one spot. Like we can just dump their treats in here. And then when they hear this, they'll know that they're getting a treat. Pink again. We're just pink, pink, pink. I didn't plan this, but it just so happened and I couldn't resist. And I didn't even mean to wear pink today, which is so funny. Um, and then also at HomeSense, we just got this little string toy. We already bought one from a pet store that we got 
like a couple weeks ago and we just thought we'd get two so we could both play with them at the same time and then we got at home sense as well this um little mouse that just goes on its own so it has a battery and apparently it just goes on its own and then the kitties could chase it so we'll see how this works later but cute little toy for them to just like you know distract them and play on their own last thing we got at home sense is this basket for all their toys because i don't want them really being scattered around the house all the time so when it's cleanup time we can just put all their toys in this basket and this is like super portable so we can just have this wherever in the house i highly suggest getting a basket for your pet's toys otherwise they're going to be everywhere you know and then as you guys saw i got this little cute green pooper scooper for the litter got just a temporary litter box for now when they're kittens and we're eventually going to upgrade it um and also get two for them because apparently if you have two kittens you need two litter boxes apparently even if you have one kitten you should have two but just this for now and then we'll you know as they get older in a few weeks we'll get bigger better things and then like i already showed you guys got these two healthy treats last thing that we got is this litter for the litter box obviously this is like all natural corn something i don't even know but this is going to be their litter for the litter box also one thing that i forgot to show you guys is i got pink theme again i got this carrier for them off amazon they're both going to come in here on the way home because they're so tiny so this is definitely big enough to fit them both i will link this down below because i got it off of amazon so she's a sleigh and she's really good quality and has so many openings and so many like little pockets so i'll link her down below yeah that's a little haul here is everything all together how cute is the aesthetic I am obsessed. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that this matches this. Wow, I didn't even do that on purpose. And also my nails are pink. It's a pink girly house now. Sorry, Joel. Another couple things actually that I got a couple weeks ago at HomeSense as well is this scratcher for them. So I'm just going to put this down here somewhere so they can learn to scratch this and not the couch. And then we also got this really fluffy white pet bed. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. And then just this other um, string little toy for them. So that is everything we got so far and i will be ordering like things online for them as we go so i think we have a pretty good starter kit so excited we are on the way to pick them up this feels just like i don't even know it's so crazy but we're so excited we're gonna have little, little kittens and i'm so excited to show you guys like them in the vlogs and i just feel like they're gonna be such a vibe and it's gonna be so cute that they're in my videos i know they're gonna be a lot of work as kittens but the fact that we're getting two it's going to be even less work and as they get older kittens just get less and less work and once they're like fully grown they're really absolutely basically no work so it's just like these next few months that are going to be a little bit more chaotic and you know busy with them but it gets easier so we really want to enjoy and take in this kitten stage as much as we can so i'm not going to complain about it but i'm so excited hi guys so there was a little bit of a plot twist that happened this is the next day yesterday we actually did not end up coming home with both kittens so what happened was like 10 minutes before we got there i got a text and she told me that one of the kittens was not reacting well to her vaccinations she had just got vaccinated i think like the day before or something and she was just super lethargic she was sick so we ended up going there anyways just because we were already 10 minutes away so we were like we're just gonna come see them anyways and then we could talk in person she was super lethargic and the lady was holding her and the lady was like there's so many like diseases that can come to them as kittens and then they just are not healthy so she said that she didn't want to send us home with like an unhealthy kitten obviously so we decided to leave both of the girls both of the kittens there and she said she was going to just update us and monitor them or monitor that one so this morning she told us that she just needs to still keep an eye on her over the next couple of weeks because you never know what can happen and like i said she doesn't want to send us home with a sick kitten while we're waiting for the second one we're gonna go and pick up the first kitten we originally really just wanted to bring home both of them at once that's why we left that one there yesterday because we're like you know what it'll be fine we'll just get both of them like whenever she's ready but we also don't want to rush her into making a decision whether this kitten is healthy enough or not to be sent home so we're just gonna go today get one of the kittens and then hopefully like praying that she makes it through and we can take home the second girl but if not we will be getting a second kitten because we want two kittens whether or not it's 
that one whether she makes it through or not we're gonna get two kittens regardless it's just gonna depend on what happens um and yeah it's super sad honestly like it breaks my heart but there's nothing that we could do so you can't dwell on it too much i'm just gonna send her my good vibes that she heals and she's okay and that she gets healthy again but yeah so we're just about to, it's kind of like bittersweet because we're about to go pick up one of the kittens and it's just sad i'm not coming home with both of them but everything happens for a reason and we believe in that divine timing and everything yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update because we were super kind of sad i was super sad last night that we couldn't come home with them obviously it's no one's fault but obviously i was we were disappointed because we've been waiting for this for so long now it feels like and so i didn't want to vlog i was just like whatever i'll continue it when i continue it but at least we're getting one kitten today so um, we're gonna go pick her up now and hopefully she warms up to us. So round two, let's make it actually happen. We're gonna go pick her up. Joel is just getting us gas, but it's crazy how like everything happens within divine timing, guys. It's the art of letting go because if you dwell on things that are out of your control, like for example, that kitten getting sick yesterday, that's like completely out of our control. And so us just letting that go and kind of surrendering just to the universe, to God, whatever, is like such a relief because we know that everything is aligning and happening for a reason. And even if it doesn't feel that way in the moment, like when bad things happen like this, for example, it's like this is happening for a reason reason i don't know what it is right now but it's all happening for you not to you but it's just crazy because i've been seeing a lot of angel numbers today i'm not gonna like get into specifics but that's when you know you're receiving these signs for a reason and it's like hey what's happening now it's just a like confirmation that it's all happening for the greater good and it feels good to know that you know believing in everything happens for a reason like i know i preach this a lot and i'm repetitive about it but it really does make your life just so much easier because you won't get as phased and you won't get as moody and you won't get as mad at when things actually happen in your life and it's just such a relief and makes you just overall live a more happy life we do already have names picked out for them and i'm so excited to share them all right we're coming for you address. girl yeah, with the address in for you. We're gonna be there a little tad bit late, but that's okay. Um, so we just picked her up. What are you doing? Look at the camera. She's doing so good in the car, you guys. Like, amazing. She's just been borderline sleeping. <gasps> you wanna say hi? Oh, are you ever cute? Oh my goodness, guys. She's literally like a little doll. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Are you saying hi? Are you saying hi? <laughs> she's literally just been sitting or laying in my hand like this. And she's so cute. She's probably a little bit scared in the car right now because obviously I don't even think she's ever been out of the house yet. But she's doing so good. She's not shaking or anything. And she's just cuddling me. Literally, what a good girl right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my goodness, Joel, look at her in the camera. Oh, oh my. She's a cutie. She is so cute. And she probably, how much do you think she weighs? Like two, not even up two pounds. I don't even think, like a pound max. Like she's Yeah, tiny. she's so tiny. You are so tiny. She, she's gonna be, or the two kitties that we get, you guys, they're gonna be the most spoiled kittens in the whole entire world. I'm not even kidding you. They're gonna get so attached to us because we're always home. Like, look at that. Oh my god. This guy has. She really likes to cuddle and get pets. Yes, you do. We just picked up some food so we don't have to make dinner tonight. Oh my gosh, you're like so, she's so good. She's just cuddling me. Okay, anyways, I will pick up the camera back when we get home. She's not shaking at all. Like, I don't even think she's, like, very scared. She's just, she I mean... She needs to be in the human zone. Yeah, maybe she's just a little scared, but... Girl is so cute. Oh. My gosh. All right, you guys, she is sniffing around the grounds. We just put her food here right now so that, I don't know, if she's hungry, it's right in front of her. But silly girl. I wonder how long it's gonna take her to like get comfortable with the space, you know? I feel so bad she's a friend. Oh, I feel so bad. She probably does not know what's going on. 
She's so nervous. <laughs> I can't. She starts meowing to get off. <clears throat> oh, she's already trying to get off. You know, she probably has to go pee. Oh, she's getting more comfortable. She's you getting could a tell. lot more comfortable. She's, she's like actually walking. Oh, there we go. Maybe I think she's going to take a shit. You could tell she's getting more comfortable. She's walking, actually like walking around. Good girl. You're so small. <laughs> oh, she's coming to the camera. Oh, she sees the little thing. Oh. Uh oh. Spicy girl. Oh, yes. she's good. getting more confident. <clears throat> oh, good girl. <laughs> oh. oh, maybe we should get her toy again. <laughs> oh, we should take the tag off of that thing. Yeah, we should. Like a little piece of paper. Oh my god, she's. She'll be tired probably in 10 minutes and want to take a nap, so. <laughs> oh, there we go. She's opening up now. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here comes a real playing time. Something up. <sighs> oh, that's cute. Oh, let's see if she jumps in. Just keep bop bopping it up of like the bed. I want her to jump. Girl, jump in. I think she's so scared of the bed. Oh, there we go. Go, 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 jump in the bed, go, go, go. Guys, we tra we transitioned our couch to like bed mode and come back here. Look at the camera. Look at her. <laughs> She's chasing her tail, guys. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. Come here. Oh gosh, she loves to be cuddled and she loves to be pet. She got so scared because Joe put on the popcorn machine. And so she came and she hid herself here. She is so cute. I literally cannot. Oh my goodness. I literally cannot handle it. She gets so scared for with every little noise. Better get used to it though, girl. It's a noisy household. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, she's falling asleep, Joel. Oh. She's literally a sleeping baby. Oh my gosh. Look at her legs. Oh my goodness. I can't move until she gets up. Even if it's for hours, I'm not gonna move. Joel's getting us snacks right now because there's no way I'm moving. Oh my gosh, she's such a bean. All right, you guys, I am in bed and Miss Girl over here has energy. So, <laughs> I'm playing with her. <laughs> she's so funny. She really likes this toy, so if you're gonna get a cat, definitely get one of these. Also, we had to flip our mirror around because she was hissing at herself, so that was pretty funny. My goodness, little bean fell. It's falling asleep on the side of the bed right now. I guess we're going to sleep with her in the bed. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we'll see. But she clearly is warming up to us. <gasps> Could you say hello? Could you say hello? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Hey guys, so I wanted to pop in here and give you guys an update because we have now had her, it's Monday today and we've had her since Friday night. So I wanted to give you guys an update on how everything is going. She has been literally the best kitten in the world. I'm not even over exaggerating. She made one accident on the floor. Since then, she's been using the litter box and she's been so good. Like, I'm not even kidding you. She's been the dream kitten, haven't you? You have been the dream kitten. She is so cuddly and she just started purring for the first time just like i think maybe yesterday was it and she was roaring like a machine today and it was the cutest thing ever today was her first like real long purr she's so affectionate she's so loving she's so just literally the best kitten in the world and i love her so much so her name is binu 
and we're going to name the other girl Toopy. Toopy and Binu, I don't know if you guys know this show, but I used to watch it on Treehouse when I was younger with my sister, and it was our favorite show, like favorite kid show of all time, so I've always wanted to name, if I got cats, to them Toopy and Binu. And so this one's Binu, and the other one's gonna be Toopy. Toopy is doing a lot better, guys. She's recovering, and we're hoping to get to pick her up within the next couple days, hopefully, or at least by the end of the week. So everything is just going amazing, and she's been eating, she's been playing, and she's been sleeping with us in the bed. She's been sleeping the whole entire night. She just cuddles us in the bed, and she comes and sleeps on my chest and near my head, and she just doesn't wake us up, sleeps the whole entire night. She gets zoomy, she's been running up and down the stairs, but she's only really like super zoomied out, maybe for half an hour a day, and then we play with her, but she's usually sleeping or cuddling because obviously kittens need their rest. So if you guys are wondering what breed she is, she has a British short hair, a golden I think it's called, golden British short hair. She is an indoor cat only, they're not supposed to go outdoors, right? You're a little spoiled. She was born on February 26th, so she is about, I want to say, eight and a half weeks old now. So she's just like as soon as you can take, you know, the kitten home. But she's tiny. She's only like one pound. Like, look, she fits in my hand. She's so much tinier in real life than she looks like on camera. Oh my god, she's sitting pretty. This is how good she is, guys. Like, I'm not even over-exaggerating. She is just a dream. Like, I am already so in love with her. Joel and I are already so in love with her. And it's only been, like, how long have we had her for now? Like, three days? Three full days now? And I'm already in love. I was going to say we should have done this sooner, but everything is divine timing. And obviously, we were meant to get these kittens, so... But she's already our world, and I can't believe we're actually going to have two. We're going to have two. You're going to have a sister. You're going to have a sister. And she's going to get... So I sure already has gotten, but they're gonna be so spoiled and they're gonna get so much love. It's actually ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. They're gonna get the best food, the best kisses, the best cuddles, and they're gonna get get the best aunties. Okay, you guys are all their aunties. She's getting a little bit rambunctious now, but say bye to them. Anyways, that's a little update, and we're gonna when we go pick up Toopy, I will show you guys that in um, either my next vlog or whenever we get to pick her up, it'll be in the vlog. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button to follow along for Toopy, right? Okay, let's say bye. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Oh my god, you're so pretty. Say bye. Oh my god. Okay, bye guys. I love you, and stay tuned to see more content from Miss Binu and hopefully Miss Toopy soon. We love you. Bye.